Hi everybody, this is Erica with Crafts Direct and I wanna show you this super fun project. I am basically obsessed with anything that you can put a gnome on and I'm super excited about this spring gnome. So I wanna show you today how to make this welcome porch sign. It's about 40 inches tall. And again, the best part about it is that I have put magnets on the back so you can switch out this O letter for any different season. So I super love it. Here's a little buffalo plaid Christmas tree truck. Um, so the uh, options are endless. This one is my favorite right now. But then let me just show you a couple different shapes. I don't have these ones decorated, but they are different options as well. So we've got a deer, a pumpkin for fall, a fun flower for spring, and then lots of different leaf choices. So let me show you how to make this adorable project. We're gonna start this project out by painting all of our letters white. Make sure to paint the top and the sides. It'll probably take you about three coats to get it the thickness you want. Once we've got all the letters painted and they're dry, we are going to take each letter and sand it down. We just wanna make it nice and smooth and give it a little distressed look on the side. Now we get to start decorating all of our fun interchangeable pieces. So for the Minnesota, we are going to paint it this pretty teal color. And to create the ombre effect, we are going to add a little bit of white to each section as we move up the Minnesota. Next, we're gonna decorate our fun truck. So we are going to cut out the buffalo plaid paper. So to start that, we are going to flip everything over, trace on the back side of the truck. We are going to skip the tires and the tree. And then once you get to the top corner of the top of the truck, just hold your pencil where you think that corner is gonna be and draw in the shape. It doesn't need to be perfect because it's going to be covering up the actual wood piece so you won't see if you're off a little bit. Once you've got it all traced, you're gonna go with your scissors and cut around the entire truck. Next up, we're gonna work with the tires. So we are going to trace the shape of the tires on the black cardstock, and then we will cut them out with our scissors. And then finally we get to assemble the truck. So we are going to paint the tree green and then we're gonna use a glue runner and glue on the tires and then the buffalo plaid paper of the truck. And then finally we get to create our cute little gnome. So we are going to take the template of the gnome and our paper along with our transfer paper and trace the hat and the shoes going to make sure that the darker part of the graphite paper, the transfer paper, is down and that will transfer the graphite onto your cardstock. And then we're going to flip everything over because we want to use the back side of that piece of paper and we are going to use the same technique and trace the body of the gnome. Then we get to do the fun part of cutting it all out. So you're gonna cut out the body and then you're gonna flip the cardstock over and cut out the hat and the shoes. Now we get to assemble this cute little gnome. So we are going to use a glue runner and put all the pieces down on the wood cutout. And when you do the hat and the beard, Make sure you're not pushing down the hat all the way so you can sneak the beard underneath the hat a little bit. And then once you've got it all in place, push it down. 
and then we are going to use hot glue to apply the wooden nose. Now that we've got all the pieces ready, we are going to get them ready to be put on the board. So we are going to take a little bit of E6000, put it on the magnet, and then glue it to the back of each interchangeable piece. E6000 takes a little bit to dry, so make sure not to rush the process. Once you're ready, lay everything out on the board, space it properly. Here I am just making sure all of my interchangeable pieces fit in that opening. Now we're going to start gluing all of our wooden letters down with the hot glue gun. I'm using some leftover packaging just to make sure that I am laying my letters back down where they originally started. Once the letters are all on the board, we get to glue down our interchangeable piece. So I added a second magnet to the back of the Minnesota and I'm just making sure everything will still fit in place and is centered properly. And then once I'm ready, we are going to put our placeholder there, add some E6000 to the back of that second magnet, and then flip it over and put it on the board. And we're only needing to do this with one of our interchangeable pieces as they can all switch out on that same magnet. Thanks for joining me as I made this project. You can find all of the materials listed out on craftstrike.com and just go to our projects page.